hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to connect the Postgres SQL database in ASP.NET Core Blazor application and display records on the Razor components and here we got the final output let's click the display data and here we got the student table which contains three columns student ID student name email and this data we have fetched from the Postgres SQL database. This is a student table. This is the data. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new ASP.NET Core Blazor application, first we'll check the table in Postgres SQL database, which is PG admin. The table name is a student which contains three columns, student ID, student name and email. Right now this table contains around 11 records. Now my aim is I want to first connect this Postgres SQL database into a Blazor application. After that I, will, I want to display the student table on the Razor component. So let's write the coding part. For this video tutorial I am creating a new Blazor application, go to File, New, Project. Let's select the Blazor app, click Next. Let's give some proper name, Connect PostgreSQL Blazor. And I want to save this project in this folder, Core Blazor. Click Create. After that, select the template, Blazor Server app, click Create. And here the application is created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now here first in this application, when we want to connect any particular database, we require the necessary DLL packages. Here I want to connect the PostgreSQL database. So first let's install those packages. Notice in this project folder, there is a dependencies folder. Let me expand this dependencies folder. In this dependencies folder, there is no any packages folder. So let's install these packages. Select the application, right click the mouse, go to manage NetJet packages. After that, go to browse and search for npg entity framework code.postgreSQL. This is the package I want to install. Select that one and click install. Click OK. I accept the license. And here the green button is showing this package is installed successfully. And also notice this packages folder is added. Let me expand this folder. See, this is the package. Now the next package we need to install the Microsoft.entity framework code, which is this one. Let's select that one and click install. And this package is also installed successfully. And the last package I require entity frameworks entity framework 6 npg this is the package I want to install select that one click install okay accept the license and here the third package is also installed successfully after installing these three packages first let's minimize these packages as well as dependencies folder I don't require this not the package window anymore for this application. Let me close this one. Now, when we want to fetch the records, first thing we require one class with contains some properties. So I'm creating a class in this data folder. Select the data folder, right click the mouse, add class. In the class I'm adding, and the class name is the student class. And here we got our student class. Now in the student class, first we require to add the uh, component more key. Notice here when I add key method, this system dot component model dot data annotations, the namespace is added automatically. After that, let's create the properties. The first property is insert type, which is a um, student ID, student name and email. So I require three properties. First one is student ID, prop, 
string data type student name and the third one is uh, it's for the email so which is a string type email so after creating the class next thing we require the db context class so that db context class i am adding one more class for that In the same data folder right click that one add class and the class name is application db context and here we got our application db context class now in this class i want to inherit the db context class so db context class is belongs to microsoft.entity framework so first let's add that one using microsoft.entity framework core then let's add the db context now in this class let's create the constructor ctor inside this constructor i am adding db context options application db context my class name dot options colon base i'm adding options then the next step will add the property for my the table the data type is a db set in this db set i'm adding the entities we are getting from my class name which is a student class and the property name here is very important for this property and the property name must be our table name our table name is student so copy that one and paste here that's it after that now it's time to create a connection string for that in the project come to the bottom there is a app settings or json file open that one in this json file we'll add our connection string so with the double quotes i'm adding connection strings colon curly brackets comma my connection colon now between these double quotes i'll add my connection string first we need to add the server name server server is equals to here the server is and to find out server name in the pg admin notice our root folder postgres equal to select that one right click the mouse go to properties after that select the connection tab here we will get the hostname address which is nothing but our server name so copy that one and paste here colon and the next parameter is a port number so port is equals to 5432 copy that one and paste a column database is equals to the database is here the table the student table i have created in this database charan so let's add the database name is charan colon next property is user id is equals to the user id is the username which is a postgres copy that one and paste here colon the last one is a password is equals to password one two three that's it after adding the connection string in this app settings or json file next tab mm, open the startup.cs file in the startup.cs file we'll add our uh, connection service here so first we need to add using microsoft.entity framework core then come to the bottom here i am adding services dot add db context the db context application db context my class name options 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 dot use npg sql now in this use npg sql method i'm adding um, configuration configuration dot get connection string method it takes parameter uh, which, which takes a string parameter which is my connection name copy that one and paste here 
that's it so after inject the db context the service connection string now after that open the shared folder in the nav menu open that one nav menu here i'm adding one navigation link for the default on the default page display data in the href i'm adding data by postgresql postgresql database after that we'll add one razor component to display records so in the pages folder i'm adding one razor component select the pages folder right click the mouse add razor component the razor component name is student and here we got our student razor component now when a user clicks this display data i want to render this student razor component so let's give the link the page directory student double quotes forward slash i'm adding this href name which is a postgres sql database that's it now before creating the service to fetch the records from the student table let's check the default output of this blazor application and here we got the default output of our application now it is the display data just we have added the navigation link when the user clicks this display data we got this student razor component which is this one now let's create a service in the pages in the application let's create a new services folder add new folder service services now in the services folder i'm adding a class called student service student service dot yes, file now in the service first let's import the necessary classes using connect postgres my application name the data after that let's add product product read only void uh, read only application db context underscore db context which is the object then let's create the constructor in this constructor I am adding application db context underscore db then underscore db context is equal to underscore db after that we will create one function and that function we write the actual logic in the entity framework code to fetch the records from the database table student so here I am adding public list class in this list class the type of elements we are getting from the student class so student class which contains all the properties and display student data so display student is a function name then this function return underscore db context dot my table name is a student dot to list method to list method now let's call this student service method on this student razor component now before call the service let's add first using it's a using using connect dot data and also i required using connect post my application name dot services then we need to inherit inherits own component base in this component base the t service i'm adding my service and service the function name uh, my service name is a student service student service then here in the code i'm adding public system dot collections dot generic dot 
iList class. Inside this iList class, the type of elements we are getting from the student class. Let's create an object SC. Then, then we need to add one on initiate function here. So protected override wild on initialize function name. Let's delete this default line. Here I'm adding sc this object name is equals to let's call the service service dot display student is my function name display student which contains the actual logic to fetch the records from the student table then here let's define a table and this table contains a border is equals to one dr table headers employee id second table header name is employee name third one is the email and the fourth one is the salary we don't have any salary here let's close this one yes we don't have any salary next dr td in this td i am adding the table data we are getting from the database so here we have more than one record so i am using for each loop variable item in i am adding this object as see here let's copy that one and paste here now between these curly brackets the table data items we need to add at item dot notice here once i click dot i got all the column names td at item dot student name the next one td at item dot email that's it now the final step and we need to add in the startup.cs our service name also using connect post to my application name dot services then come to the bottom in the configure services we need to inject our service services dot add scope in this service I am adding my service name is a student service this service name I am adding here that's it we have done the complete coding part it's time to check the results on the browser let's run this application and here we got the final output let's click the display data see here we got Oops, something went wrong. Here the table is not. Let's check that one. Student laser. Need to put this TR inside. And also this one is not employee id this is a student id student id student name now let's check the final output let's run this application again and here we got the final output let's click the display data and here we got the student table which contains three columns student id student name email and this data we have fetched from the postgres sql database this is a student table this is the data that's it in this video tutorial i have explained how to connect the postgres sql database in asp.net code blazor application and display records on the Razer component. Thanks for watching.